Again, rational equations, equations in the form of fractions. They look like this. So we want to get rid of the fraction, right? Because we don't like them. We want to make them go away. So we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to take the 2 and we're going to multiply it to the x plus 4. So you get 2 times x plus 4. And then we're going to do the 3 times x minus 3. And we're going to set those two things equal to each other. So it gets rid of the fraction. So once you cross multiply, do not put it back in a fraction. Let me say that one more time because if one of you is going to do it. Maybe not one of you in here, but one of you that's listening to this video. Do not put it back in a fraction after you cross multiply. It becomes equal to each other. So now, boom, fraction gone. And then we got to solve it from oh, here. Yeah, exactly. We're going to do the distributive property. So we're going to do 2 times x, 2 times 4, plus 8. And then we're going to distribute the 3, which equals 3x minus 9. And then we're solving for x. So I'm going to subtract the 2x over. I told you. Nobody ever wants to believe me when I actually say stuff is easy. No, Ireland is the math wizard. She said I was not allowed to give anybody else that title. <laughs> Ireland. So then x equals 17. Cool. All right, so for this one, same process. We're still going to cross multiply. All right, so we're going to take 3 times x minus 3. And we're going to set it equal, not make it a fraction. Yes, I feel the need to yell that. I'll wait till my microphone comes in, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. All right, then we have to distribute. Wait, I think I can do this. So then you have... So, what's different about this one? It has an x squared, which means it's what type of equation? Complex. Nope. It does, uh, no. Um, I forgot what it's called. Nope. <laughs> you already said that. Quadratic. Quadratic. It's a quadratic <laughs> equation. Oh. Like from section 2.4. Uh, really? Yeah. So let's set it equal to what? Zero. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is oh. so oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we're going to subtract the 3x. And we're going to add the 9, which is going to make it equal to zero. So we get 2x squared minus 11x plus 9 equals zero. So we have how many different methods to solve quadratic equations? There are four of them. So which one would not work here? Okay, no. Fraction is not a... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Completing um, the square? Yeah. You can use that all the time. Yeah. Um, no, you can use no, that. No, it's, um, extracting roots? roots? Yeah, you cannot use extracting roots. Why not? I said, I said uh, squaring roots. <laughs> <laughs> the extracting roots is like you don't have to have a set of zero. Right, and you, have, you can't have the x term in the middle. Yeah. So for this one, I would recommend either the quadratic formula or... Factoring. Uh, yeah. Formula. Yeah. Alright, so let's quadratic formula. Um, x equals negative 3. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 minus negative 3 plus negative 3 minus negative 3 plus 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 negative
We did it. All right, so then A is what? B is? 11. Close. Negative 11. Negative 11, good job. C is? Nine. Nine. So we have 11 plus or minus the square root of negative 11 squared minus 4 times A times C all divided by 2 times 2. So where a lot of you messed up on your quiz is right here. When you square the negative number in the calculator, you have to put parentheses around it or else it's going to give you a negative. Anytime, so negative 11 times negative 11 is positive 121. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's 121. Right. And then 72. And then 121 minus 72 is 49. Sorry, Abby, I beat you to it. It's 49. <laughs> All right, what's the square root of 49? I know, it's so much fun. See, look at you guys admitting that you love math. I mean, you do, but yeah, I get what you mean, though. All right, so then 11 plus 7 is what? 18 over 4. And 11 minus 7 is? 4. <laughs> That's a weird comma, Andrew. 4 over 4. So then you can reduce those to get 9 over 2 and 1. That's it. <laughs> that was not 10 minutes. It was only 5 minutes and 33 seconds. That was a lot of problems, though. Like, it's... Right, but really, though, it's not that bad. Like, the process, it's all stuff that's fairly familiar to you, though. That's heat. But the air is on up here. So that's not good. <laughs>